saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have a matchup of two of the best receivers in the NFL. Both are big-bodied receivers that can just flat out go up and get the ball. It's Julio Jones going up against Mike Evans. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 8 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports, a matchup in the NFC South as we join you from the Georgia Dome. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten time to take on a big challenger. You know, there's so many good teams in the NFL right now. To be undefeated in Week 8, that is hard to do. You need a lot of good players. You need a little luck. But I'll tell you this, the team they're going against they can't wait to get out there and beat them and put that first blemish on their record. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. The Buccaneers are ready to run back this kick. This game has officially begun. tackled at the 21. Winston's heading out now for his first series. What a season he's enjoyed. Again in the top 10 in the league when it comes to quarterback rating. Well, a couple things I like about Jameis Winston. I like his size. I like his natural leadership abilities. And listen, he was groomed at Florida State to be a professional quarterback. So the transition for him should be a lot easier than other rookie quarterbacks in this league. Martin takes the hit and is brought down after a gain of only one. And now we'll look at the Buccaneers offense. They rank towards the middle of the pack in passing offense this season. Winston's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Evans got it. First down. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? 
Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. Heaving it down the field on target. Well, there's no substitute for talent. And that time we saw a lot of talent from the quarterback throwing it down the field. And what a good job of the wide receiver making the catch. First down at the 22. Here's the handoff. And Claiborne's all over the ball carrier. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down and a long way to go. Brought down at the 26. And here's the Falcons defense. They know they need to force turnovers today. Coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Winston's alone in the backfield. Third and a long way to go. Looking to go down the field here. The Buccaneers lined up for the field goal. And the kick is good for three. Nearing the end of the first quarter, and the three points on the board puts them ahead. Got to feel good about that drive. That was nice. Uh, of course, it didn't lead to a touchdown, but it was good enough to get you three points. And the tackle's made right around the 32-yard line. Lions coming off a week where he had a quarterback rating that hovered in the 140 range. So he should be feeling very confident here today. Matt Ryan had a really good last year, even though he didn't get the protection by his offensive line. So he proved to everybody, even though he's not a speed guy, he can stand in that pocket under pressure and make plays. There is a flag out. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally you're going to grab the face mask. They are all over them, behind the line of scrimmage, and a loss of one. The Buccaneers' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. Freeman's got it on the handoff. He's taken down at the 47. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. They're a hard team to get off the field because third down this season has gone their way, converting at a very high rate. Falcons offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Hester's going to pull in the bullet pass. You know, as a quarterback, you don't have to be, like, extremely fast to make plays like this. When you get forced out of the pocket, you need good footwork to get out there, get in position, nice throw down the field. Freeman's tackle right at the 28. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The Buccaneers defense now loading up, expecting pass. The ball is out. Oh, they caught the football. Takes possession. 
Well, that's a mistake they'll be keen to capitalize on. A chance to up the lead here early in the second quarter. Yeah, a huge mistake by the offense. You just don't expect it to go out there and just fumble the football. Interceptions happen, but fumbles, you can prevent them by having good technique and putting two hands on that football. Martin's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Welcome back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning. Now first and ten. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. That uh, was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Second and ten. Stocker has the football. He's tackled right at the 36. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Winston's going to take it from the gun. It's over to Evans for a completion. That's his third catch of the day. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make a play. First and ten. And Stalker has the catch. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes, and you need to stop the clock, so he gets it done. The Buccaneers come out, and a bunch set. First down at the 40. He'll throw it over the middle. Picks up about five. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Winston's now completed four in a row. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 35. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. The Buccaneers, one timeout remaining. First down here. And incomplete. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it. But what a job of that. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. Vincent Jackson can't bring it in. The pass ball's incomplete. The Buccaneers don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. Drives it through for the field goal. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field. He'll take it from the four. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Falcons are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck, that's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving them hand signals. 
First down at the 44. The Falcons now move the chains. The Falcons decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Coming to the line at the 27. First and 10. Jones comes up with the catch. That's his first reception today. Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Ryan from the gun. And it's batted down. Uh, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. you got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. Second and goal from the four. Touchdown, Atlanta. That gives him 200 touchdown passes over the course of his career. That's one more than some old quarterback named Phil Sims, who stopped at 199. The extra point can put them ahead. Inside of the uprights. The Buccaneers getting ready to field the kick. Halftime is fast approaching in a game where they now trail. The score's 7-6. to six. Just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line. The Buccaneers stepping back onto the field to get this next drive underway. The previous possession was a field goal. Yeah, I think they feel good about that field goal. They made some good plays and they got down there and they moved the football and they, they got in, in position where they could kick the field goal. Now you take the knowledge that you gained from that last drive, use it. They'll try to go down there now and score a touchdown. They've got to be wondering, though, can they finish off a drive today? The second half is officially underway. Hester's got it. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. <laughs> the Falcons come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking. And once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances. Go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. First down and ten. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Falcons lined up. Bunch formation. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Falcons offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job picking up that first down. It's been fun to watch. They got a small lead here in the second half. We'll see if that first down can lead them to a score. Looking long. The defender, a touchdown, Falcons. Lions now got 20 touchdown passes on the season. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Falcons with the PAT to come. And the point after is good. White's probably ready to get right back on the field after that last drive. A drive in which he contributed over 40 yards receiving, helping the team score. A 
able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Buccaneers talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. The Buccaneers take it from the 23. The defense gets the sack. Defensive tackles, we always think of them as run stoppers. How about this that time? He does a great job, gets in there, and sacks the quarterback. Winston's setting up now in the pistol. And the pass is thrown away. back now he'll be punting Hester's going to try and return this punt they'll mark him at the 40 and a run back of about 10 the Falcons have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down, don't get conservative, keep it going, try to score points, and just dominate the other team. Freeman's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down at the 49. Breaks free. Ryan will avoid the hit and slide down. That's a really smart job that time by the quarterback. Pick up all the yards you can, and before you're going to get hit, slide in there like you're going to second base. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Going to try and scramble now. Yard line. Here comes the snap. Ryan takes it from the gun. Ryan connects with Julio Jones on that one. That's reception number two for him. Welcome back to the action. Today it's been all about the defenses. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point. And they get the sack. And his defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job, makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. Falcons will take the snap from the 30. Hester's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Freeman's hand at the football. And that's David in on the stop. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two minutes remaining in this nail-biter. Can the offense hold on to the football and run out the clock? And now Ryan's going to take off. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. Why, second touchdown of the game. It is so disappointing when you're down near the goal line and you don't score. Well, the offense doesn't have to know that disappointment this time. Good job, good play call, and a beautiful throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. 
the Buccaneers now have even more work to do to get back into this one. The scores 21 to 6. to the 20 mark him down at the 19 the Buccaneers weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here do you think they are gonna vary their approach Phil well I hope so I think they will they they got a lot of information out there in that short drive Jim and you do that by showing different formations and plays you saw how the defense reacted to it now you counter react and see if you can get some positive plays I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business well, that's a bad business to be in. I know. I get in a lot of bad businesses. The Buccaneers snap it at the 36. Godfrey's there to make the tackle. Second down after that pass play. Holding on to the timeout. They'll rush back to the line. Takes the hit and throws. The Buccaneers are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Third down and three. Jackson's got the catch and the first. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. Trying to hook up with Jackson that time, but this pass goes incomplete. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Doug Martin with the grab, and now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Falcons with a nickel look here on defense. Third and three. Looking to go deep. Offense still on the field here on fourth down. Needing three for the first. Winston set in the pistol. The Buccaneers turn the ball over on downs. The Falcons offensive unit back onto the field here. Last time they had the ball, partner, they took it to the house. Yeah, they were doing everything well, running and throwing the football, like you said. And I don't what do you do as a coordinator? You don't even know what to call because that play sheet, everything is working on it. Keep the momentum and keep this defense off balance. Coming up, second down. Freeman's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Running room. The Buccaneers have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. First down coming up. Matt Ryan under center. Launching it deep. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. Well, this is another win today, and things are starting to get interesting with this undefeated streak. Boy, it really is. You know what? Anytime in the NFL, once you get past six games and you're undefeated, what happens? Everybody goes, what do you think? Can they go the whole season? 
I don't know about that, but right now they're playing very, very well. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.